California has always led the way in technology, education, jobs, and quality of life. But many say the state that once symbolized optimism has become dysfunctional and ungovernable, a failed state. In the 1970s, California's legislature was described as one of the finest in the world because of the expertise, diligence, and collegiality exhibited by its members. The opinion of the legislature, however, has undergone a stunning decline in the last 30 years. A recent poll found 81% of voters disapproved of the legislature and only 12% approved. Many point to the state's perennial budget crisis that, year after year, places the state on the precipice of a financial disaster as Exhibit A. The bottom line? California's credit rating has gone from AAA, the best there is, to A-, minus, the worst among the 50 states, and not much better than junk bond status. This, of course, has direct implications for the quality of life of all Californians. How did things go so terribly wrong? And what can be done to restore the California dream? In part one of our two-part series on reforming California, we'll talk to the leaders of California Forward, a nonpartisan organization whose mission is to, quote, revive the California dream and turn our broken government into an efficient, effective body focused on performance, accountability, and transparency. James Mayer, the executive director of California Forward, and Pete Weber, board member of California Forward and one of the key leaders of the California Partnership for the San Joaquin Valley. We'll also talk to Nathan Monroe, professor of political science at UC Merced and an expert on legislative politics and political institutions about how government can deliver better results with greater accountability, how to make the budget process more disciplined and focused so that we only spend the money that we have and we spend it wisely, and what are the key political reforms that will put the state back on track. What happened? Our guest has had some thoughts on that question, and the answer is on how California can be reformed. James Mayer is the executive director of California Forward. Nate Monroe is professor of political science at the UC Fed. And Pete Weber is a leader with the California Partnership with San Joaquin Valley and also a board member of California Forward. Welcome to all of you for another report. Well, let's start off with the first question. Um, is California, I think it's broken down, as many people think. Only in California really has uh, become dysfunctional systematically. And we see this in a, a number of ways. We see it in terms of poor results. We're not getting the results from schools that we need, in terms of job creation, in terms of our ability to really provide equal opportunities. We're seeing it in our institutions. Not only do we have poor results, but systematically we're paying more than most places for poor results. And, and in our political institutions, in the legislature and elsewhere, they're, they're clearly unable to deal with these problems in a systematic way and solve them. So we see, we see throughout our political system, our fiscal system, and our relationship among government clearly need to, to be rebooted in that sense. Professor Monroe, do you think there's a problem here? I do, and I don't know. You know, I'm often the skeptic when people say things are broken. The president will say that in the politics of the institutions are broken. In politics, you know, it's just a series of things. You know, the lives of the people that are in the office. It's all kinds of different processes. Um, and that said, I, you know, the more I, I look at California and I look at the types of things that are going on, it seems clear that there are problems in the system. And when we look at things like the initial process, the budget process, um, we look at the time that we look at the new assembly, things have already begun to reform, but when it's clear that we're looking at this, um, I think it's a good thing that I've done with the same system as the system, but um, we've gone down to a very slow but problematic path and we've gotten this place. Um, in the series of broken institutions that the public is using. Um, there's one last thought. The, um, are we panicking here? Is the sky really falling? No, I don't Well, you know, one of the things that California Board is focusing on is structural things, creating a government structure that delivers the results of data accountability. Can you give me specifics of what you're talking about? Absolutely. Um, we know that from all the analysis that's been done over more than a generation of academics and commissions and, and legislative and other initiatives, 
um, that one of the things we've got to fix in California is the relationship between the state and local government. In California, uh, because of our size, because of our geographic differences, our economic differences, our cultural differences, we've really got to think about where the decisions are going to be made. And at a time when we probably should have been um, focusing more of that authority at a local and regional level, we've actually been consolidating in the Sacramento. So at a place where our institutions are more dysfunctional, we're expecting them to be making decisions that really need to be made in Bakersfield and Fresno and the West Coast. So it's about um, shifting responsibilities and also control over resources to a scale where problems can be solved and people can hold their government accountable. Is that Monroe? Do you think these suggestions are going to work? Yeah, I mean, I think you know, you have to be careful about it. It's kind of identify these suggestions because there's a lot of things that fly around and it's not just as hard as it's going to be. I think we pretty careful about thinking through the things that we've done before in quality about how we're going to have to make the present regulation seem like a little bit of 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 Okay, well, when we come back, we'll talk about what has become a colonial crisis and everyone's favorite example of dysfunction of state government. It's a state budget process. That's how it's based on the university. Let's get to that report.